after our next conversation, where the videos of the arraignment of some and bad governance protesters, including minors, generated public outcry and condemnation. President Bolatinubu promptly ordered the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Latif Agbemi, SEN, to ensure their immediate release. To this end, the Federal High Court in Abuja struck out the charges brought against 119 and bad governance protesters on charges bordering on treasonable felony, intent to destabilize Nigeria and inciting to mutiny by calling on the military to take over government from President Tunubu. Now, uh, Biko, the AGF citing Section 174 and Section 211 of the Constitution, the 1999 Constitution, <clears throat> discontinued, nolly prosecute. Let's start with this, and we also know that the minors are also part of the 119 uh, protesters. Let's start with this. What are your thoughts on the nolly prosecute from the AGF? No, it's um, the press, the Attorney General of the Federation is permitted by law mm. to discontinue any criminal proceeding. Any criminal proceeding. He has the power. True. Yeah? And uh, you also know that um, in the ranking of ministers, he's the most senior minister of all. You know, he's the most senior minister of all. And he's the only minister that the president cannot delegate his functions to anyone. Okay, I think the only is the only the minister is the only minister that must be educationally qualified for his role. Mm. Mm. We've had people, we've had a pharmacist become minister of health in this country. He didn't have to be a doctor. Every other role, <clears throat> the president can delegate. The president can't. The president can. Assume the role of a minister, as petroleum. we've always had the, these days with the petroleum ministry. Mm. He cannot do that with the AGF. He cannot assume the role of Attorney General of the Federation. Mm. So this is a very important and powerful ministerial position. Okay. And once the president, this is a political decision. You can discontinue a case. Uh, because you came to the political decision that it's not worth it. The matter of the arraignment of these people, these kids, has put the government to shame. If you watched issues with Jide on Saturday, I talked about this. And this is nonsense. One, they were not looked after. And they were looking really, really unkempt, looking malnourished. Real. Hmm looking frail. And before the international community, we will expose ourselves to ridicule. Exactly. So, a president who is not happy to see his country disgraced will take the right decision when it needs to be taken. And the president's first decision is Attorney General Call for the file. Take that file from the police. Take control of the matter. Because he can, he, by his power, he can tell the police to surrender the file to him, to his office. Because the number one prosecutor is exactly. not control. So now, after taking the file, the president took the decision that all of those kids should be released. Initially, what the Attorney General said was, look, these children had to be properly okay, taken care of, and we want the case, the matter to, be, to get accelerated here. But they didn't even need to go all the way to do that. There was a decision, go and discontinue the case. Once that decision was taken, the court was approached, and the court duly, um, uh, what was it called? The, the court struck out the Struck matter. out the charges. Yes, we won't, because the decision had come from both parties. Mm. To, exactly. Uh, so the judge dutifully struck out the matter. And that's where we are. 
the end uh, and governance uh, whatever is gone yes those children children misbehaved when you see these kids who are collapsing the other day mm. when you see them looting you will not believe they are the same people and thank god there are still videos you see they even some younger than this mm. they were breaking into <clears throat> people's business Office premises and all of ruining people's people. lives just as it happened here in lagos mm. Ruining people's lives in the process. I've said before that many businesses in Nigeria are not insured. When they break into your business premises and take away all you've got, they put you in misery. Even the staff that you, that were earning their livelihood, okay. uh, their jobs are gone. So right. it, it is painful to watch children do the kind of things that these, boy, these uh, uh, kids did. Okay. And it sends a message. Okay. Whatever one lesson, let me just round up. One lesson to take from this is bad behavior by kids or whoever has consequences. Consequences. Bad behavior, whether by kids or by Adult. adults, has consequences. Mm -hmm. Now I'm sure a lot of them haven't been in detention since. They've learned August. their lesson. They've, they've picked up valuable lessons. Mm -hmm. So. But I'm happy that this, the whole saga okay. has ended. All right, we'll continue with this conversation. Don't go anywhere. We need to go to this quick break. And when we return, the conversation continues. Still journalist hangout. All right, if you just joined us, it's still journalist hangout. I still have uh, BKO and uh, Olainka Yubile. Now, the public outcry. Now that um, the AGF has, you know, instituted a nolly prosecutor, should the president be having a strong conversation with the inspector general of police? You know, adding also the first spokesperson, mm -hmm. we were looking at those elements. Should the president be having a strong conversation with them? Look, the president or the president is not only the police if you have strong discussion. Yes. The presidency as a bureaucracy mm. must examine itself. I have a belief or a suspicion that there are some fifth columnists mm. working in the presidency. Yes. Oh, really? In the first place, look, why should the, those kids, they were brought to the court, is there nobody in the correctional center briefing the Minister of uh, Interior that this is what is happening? These kids are not early enough to be taken to court. Mm. They should have not brought them to court. If they didn't bring them to court, and they said that maybe they have a reason to not to bring them to court, fine. Then the inspector general of police, I thought he had his PhD in mathematics or something. I never knew he has a PhD in theater as and pantomime to, to describe what happened in the court as a pantomime, saying that you know, the, it, it, it was, was drama. drama. And all. I mean, look, the, the presidency must re-examine itself. Even if, I believe even if very it was strongly contrived. this even, thing... Even this if it was contrived, why did they bring those kids? No, like that. What, what, what he said and what the, the PPRO said is totally unacceptable. I mean, he portrays what in the international community and the presidency in a way that people would not look at. The president or the APC came to power through protest. So why should protest now be outlawed under their own uh, purview. No, so, there are no, nobody has outlawed. No, no. Uh, but what, that is what the police is doing. No, no, nobody. That is what the police nobody, has done. Nobody. Because, look, on, in nobody all has honest, outlawed protests. The action even of the are, police is saying that. No, it's, okay. even it, it, Lagos. It is wrong. Even, it is wrong. See, even the Lagos. The Inspector General should apologize to Nigerians. And this is, nobody, this is criminal. Nobody Why should can, anybody... Nobody can outlaw protests uh, in the country. Oh. And Hold even on. here in Lagos, people protested. But they were not looting shops. The bulk of people were uh, uh, paraded. We know they were arrested in places like Gombe, Kasina, yes. uh, Kano, yes. and all of these places. No. And they were looting, destroying people's yes. livelihoods. The videos are still there. Yes. People can't be looting the way that they did, and they shouldn't be arrested. Of course, they'll be arrested. I, Even I'm in not Bolu, the arrest. The but ones, the fact kids, that they brought them that kids, way. Kids, hold on now. Hold shouldn't on. they be ashamed that let us even hide this? Eh, but no, but, but, the president but it's not. Done that in the you see, it, it's not an issue of outlawing protest. 
Nobody can. The way they are behaving, it is as if they have applauded. No, the but you see the. They are giving the presidency a bad name. That's. I understand the point that you are making, but okay. don't say they are outlawing protest because if children were running rampant the way they did, they should be arrested. Yes. Even in Bono State, yes. the yes. governor no came out. The governor came out to say, "Gentlemen, uh, Northern governors, let's do something about the Almajiri syndrome. Yes. That they were the people who were attacking." Business premises in Borno State. Yes. I he still have the Aru. video. Okay. I still have yes. the video of yes. the governor speaking. Yes. So it's not us. It's the governor of the state. He had to quickly declare a curfew. And he said, children as young as nine. He saw them. What do those ones know about protests? <laughs> to even want to protest, you need to even understand what you are protesting about. And so in cases they will give somebody a placard, he turns it upside oh, right down. down. Yes. How do you tell me, convince me that that person knows what he's protesting about? Now, now, just, so, now, they didn't say people should not protest, but once there you, are limitations. Section 45. Yeah, the law, yeah. Yes, the exactly. law is clear that, that once you see, in the exercise of mm, the right to protest, yes. you cannot Infringe take the away right the rights of other people. Exactly. Yes. And I've used that analogy before. I can swing my arm. But if I swing and, 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 some, and I hurt you in yeah. the process, yeah. Then I could be in trouble. Exactly. So this is the thing. The police, where the police dropped the ball was in parading these, I mean, uh, was in arraigning these people along with adults. Children of that age should never be taken to that kind of court. There is the juvenile court. Bolster homes. But how many bolster homes do we even have? We have, we have. No, even if, if we go to, uh, if you go to this place, uh, what was it called? They have their... They, they uh, are. Uh, Isheri. Yes. They, have, they are. They have, they have, All over the Federation. So they are. That one. They are. Now, they are. Now, you cannot bring kids mm. in the open court. Even when an elder, an adult rapes an underage. Yes. You cannot bring, bring the, that... On the on the to, court. to court to come and give testimony. Yeah, you need to yeah. the identity. You exactly. can't. That was what the, the court is not meant for them. Exactly. They you can't the bring them. Those... Exactly. Please. That Please. is not their own court. Mm. So now, you could argue that, oh, the judge, because they were arraigned together, yes. that the judge had no choice. He had to read the okay. charges because they were arraigned oh, along with yeah, adults. Yeah. And I'm saying they shouldn't have been arraigned with adults because at the end of the day, Adults that had a case to, uh, to answer. Now we have allowed everybody. To, that is the, uh, unfortunate. Because of tactless behavior. So mm. that's why they should so be sanctioned. The, I agree with you that there are people in the presidency who are I fifth column. Very okay. like, I believe The I, earlier this president begins to look and fish them out inwards, mm. I mean, the better. Why? Because when people behave in a manner that embarrasses the government. Sometimes we are tempted to think this is deliberate. The, the IG has now said, okay, this is another people who badly treated these children in detention. They are going to investigate them because the president did not just say, oh, uh, discontinue case. They need to investigate, investigate exactly. Yeah. Circumstances. Mm. Why? That predispose those children to the state in exactly. which we found them. You couldn't even feed them be that day before bringing them. And to you are the bringing house. them to ah. court. And people are seeing them in that ah. state. That is why I'm saying, look, if people are around the president and they cannot give good advice, hmm. then they are working for the enemy. Exactly. All right, gentlemen. That's, All right, absolutely. That's, that's what I absolutely. Believe. I believe that we have that a cause. If you yeah. cannot give good advice, good advice, but you will do something ah. that will embarrass. The president. You then you have something, exactly. then you are working for the enemy. Exactly. And you see, you know why I believe this? And I've given this example before. Those who sit in Nassau Rock should never think that everybody around them loves them. Exactly. President Buhari, as military, as military head of state. Yes. I remember so we interviewed him. Exactly. We interviewed him about, you know, you remember Awolowo? Exactly. Awolowo's library was Awolowo, overturned. They scattered Obatone, everywhere. Yes. He and said he man, never sent anybody never to do it. Sent, All right, gentlemen. So, no, All right. so the thing is, most, these things happen. Sometimes some people from within will be working like that to give you a bad name, a bad name. because they are after that seat too. Exactly. And you will not know. But Buhari told us this. In from the from right. and, where and, is, men, and many people thought, came from. and many people actually thought that he knew about it. But he didn't of know course. about it. Mm. All right, the presidency, everybody believes the presidency knows everything. Like Oyegbile said, there is a need 
for the president to look to look in words. Some of these embarrassments yes. may not be ordinary. We we are saying our own, and I'm citing the example of uh, Buhari, Buhari, who had been head of state, military, military head of state, and they what all they were doing was let's continue to do things that will make that him will, lose support, exactly. that will make people hate him. When, when the people of the Southwest hate him, they control the media, mm. will, his government will become unpopular. All right, gentlemen. How do All you right, go gentlemen. and embarrass Awolowo and expect that people will be happy with you? Okay, we have a caller from Lagos Island. So sorry for keeping you waiting. Caller from uh, um, Lagos Island, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Hello? Hello, we can hear you. Let's talk. Yes, on this issue of uh, this um, minors being taken to court, okay. see, my concern in the way Amana Nigerian government operates is that these children that were seen with flags from different countries, there were people that gave all these flags to them. They didn't make these flags by themselves. Why is it, is it difficult for government to bring out these people? Government cannot come out and say they don't know them. Why these children? These children, all right, thank you. Most, most children in the North are very innocent. They have no knowledge of anything. The people no, 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 that no, no, gave no, no, them this flag all right, the thank you. are the ones that are supposed to be prosecuted. Not those. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. But we are pressed for time. But just one, I just want one, one minute take from you. I listened to a radio conversation this morning, and it said, a caller called in and said, if minors can protest, they can also face prosecution. What are your thoughts on that? No, you see the thing. I'm, nobody is saying. Saying no. It's not. Juvenile court exists. They should go. Juvenile correctional centers, centers exist. Mm. What I'm saying is, they shouldn't have been arranged them like adults. Like adults. Hmm. That is it. Because the whole world would be wondering. Well, you can imagine when you are an 80 year old boy. Can he explain his actions? Exactly. exactly. Can he explain his actions, for example? Exactly. And at the end of the day, we came up with uh, extremely tough bail conditions. 10 million. I, I was thinking of back when. 10 I million. That. And, and you must look for uh, a director or uh, yes. level of property. director. And, no. Someone who can afford ten thousand and then the third person you must bring the parents of the child. <laughs> but I'm glad they've actually put this well, to bed, and that. we are with the, the investigation. The investigation. Those, those things are embarrassing. They need to be totally embarrassed. Exactly, totally really embarrassing. embarrassing.